Hey there, everybody. My name is Carmen Williams, and welcome to OMO TV. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about the Perea Recharge S. It's a sleeping pad by Perea. There you go. And that's what's on the agenda today. So let's get started, okay? Alright. Alright, at least we're out of that win. Hello folks. I recently bought the Perea Recharge S. This is an amazing little pad. S means short. It's less than a pound. It's only 13 ounces. That's the reason why I got it. I'm trying to lighten my load a little bit. But I didn't want to break the bank, you know, because there's a lot of sleeping pads that you can buy out there. They're over $200. And I have some, but, I, you know, it's like, I've got to try this out. So, um... Perea has been coming out. They have three sleeping pads. One's called the Recharge XL. It's, it is a little wider and longer. It, then they also have the Recharge UL, which means ultralight. And it's more mummy shaped, weighs 20 ounces. Then they have the S, which is only 13 ounces. The Recharge S. The baffles run across the bag not down the bag so it's a lot like that popular company that's out there that a lot of people like to buy and um, so I won't say it is because I don't want to get in any trouble but it's yellow and it also has baffles that run back and forth but they're like 189 and plus dollars you know pretty expensive this is not that way it's it's just as comfortable to me. I found this extremely comfortable and way quieter because all the Perea bags are insulated and they're and they're insulated quite well. So we're, we're looking at bags that are insulated at 3.5 or above, all the way up to 4 or above 4.2, something like that. So these things are quite well insulated. The next thing is that the quality is superb. I really like the quality on these bags. They're made out of, this is where the difference is though. They're about an, you know, anywhere from two to four ounces heavier. That's right. They can be a little bit heavier, but uh, the thing is that's going to save you about a hundred bucks. So if a hundred dollars, if two ounces, you know, at a hundred dollars, you know, fifty dollars an ounce is important to you, then, you know, might want to pay attention on this one but anyway they have what what makes it is, is the material and they use 40 denier ripstop nylon and because it's 40 denier makes that bag a bit heavier and uh, the insulation inside might be a little causing it to be a little bit heavier so but it's not a hundred dollars heavier in my personal opinion I can find a way to shave an ounce here too elsewhere and save that save that hundred dollars and be able to get something like this so at 13 ounces yeah i can do that even at 20 ounces yeah i can do that so uh anyway i just wanted to do that the recharge s is 48 inches long 22 inches wide and three and a half inches thick i measured those and honest to god they are pretty spot on uh, the thickness really really well the length pretty much there the width though when I measured it I'll, you'll probably see it here when I did the width once you blow it up it seems to go in this way and the width really the workable width that I found was only 20 inches so um, so I would say blown up it's around 48 inches long 20 inches wide 
and definitely three and a half inches thick and it is insulated and it is at a 3.5 R ratio. It fits very well with the Nemo switchbacks, the Thermarest Z Light, and you know, several of those closed cell accordion type uh, pads for the ground. It works very, very well in conjunction with that. I've been sleeping on this pad for about three days just to make sure that it works. I do have a little bit of a hack for you. If you take the Trekology 2.0 pillow, it's got a strap on it, and you take another blow up pillow very similar to that, and you put the two together, blow them up, put the two together, and then that strap that normally go around the pad, have it go around the the pillow below it so that way it holds it together set them just off the head of the pad because it's plenty high plenty high when you do that and that gives you that extra few inches you know to lay up on this short pad and be quite comfortable and pretty much I'm a short guy so it works very well for me so I don't have too much trouble with my feet I like to sleep anyway on my side and I like to sleep on my stomach. I don't know how many of y'all do that, but when I sleep on my stomach, I like for my feet to sort of hang off a little bit. I don't know, just weird, I guess, that's all. So anyway, I'm gonna be, um, I say anyway, way too much. Quit that. All right, I'll get it. I'm gonna try not to say the word anyway. But anyway, <laughs> It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed this pad. So, and the Perea people are extremely pleasant. Hey, Ann. But um, very, very nice. I am not getting paid by this company. I am not endorsed by this company. I spent my own money for this. Uh, however, you know, if they want to swing my way a little bit, I, who am I to refuse, you know, or argue? So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you're just starting out, or if money's a little bit tight, I'm going to be honest with you, I really like the Perea. The Perea is really, really good. I would like to try out the XL, and I would like to try out the UL for sure, but, you know, got to save my money up. But I absolutely love... I love this. Oh, if you want to know how big it is, packed away, check this out, man. Okay, this is a canned drink. So it's not, you know, it's a little bigger than a canned drink, but yeah. what can I say? It's very, very small. I'll probably just take it out of this bag anyway and just sort of fold it up and cram it in there in the bottom with my sleeping bag when I'm heading out. I'm sort of lazy that way. Yeah, some of us are like that. When you're through hiking, you get tired of rolling that thing up every day and trying to cram it into a, a stuff sack. You know, you have a tendency to just sort of fold it up and put it in there on top of your quill or sleeping bag and just sort of keep going or put it on the, the back of your pack. So, um, you know, it keeps sort of pads back there. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And if you don't mind subscribe and hit that like button i don't do anything scripted that's why i sound like an idiot a lot of times but i'm a proud idiot there you go all right thank you very much i'm getting ready we've got a whole bunch more videos coming out and uh so i hope to see you there all right take care and thank you so much bye, -bye. <laughs>